Welcome to another session of Advanced Microsoft 365 course. Guys, I'm Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. In previous class, we discussed about how we can manage mail trace, which is a part of mail flow. And today I'm going to move ourselves to next topic, which is correlated to the mail flow as well. So in this class, I'll give you the complete information about how we can configure rule for the mailing services. So let's move ourselves to our Office 365 portal and discuss about the procedure and also try to understand about the concept of a mail rule. Before that, if you are if you are new on my YouTube channel, if you are watching my video first time, so please do subscribe because Teach Me Cloud is, is a single technical training based YouTube channel that give you 100% live practical based video without skip any step. Everyone, this is our 365 uh, portal and that I log in with the help of root account. I'm just going to click on dot and go to the admin center. It will redirect you on the admin page and you know that the mail flow which is available in exchange admin center. So I'm going to open the exchange admin center. This is the type of dashboard that help us to manage the mailing services. This is the panel of exchange admin center and in the exchange admin center we have already discussed about the mailboxes right Currently, we are on page of mail flow. In the mail flow, we have already discussed about the message trace. And this time, let's try to understand about the rules. As per the name suggests, right? You know that in our uh, um, um, different different operating systems contain lots of rules, lots, lots of policies. As it is over our Office 365 portal, over our exchange panel, we are able to find the option of rule and that give us option to, that help us to set up multiple rule for the mailing services. I'm going to give you a few example, like uh, let me click on the add rule and it will give you multiple templates and you can also create your own custom rule, right? Mm -hmm. So n number of templates are also available. So you should know about the usage of these templates. Like the first is apply Microsoft uh, apply Office 365 message encryption and rights protection to the message. Apply custom branding to OME message and uh, apply disclaimer if you want to set up any kind of disclaimer for your emails. So you can put that filter message by size, generate uh, an incident report. A number of options are available. Modified message, modify message, restrict managers and their direct reports. Multiple uh, rules are available. You can consider these rules are we can use on very frequency. But if you don't want to proceed with the existing template, so we can click on the create a new rule. It will provide you option to create your own rule that you want to implement with your mailing services. Uh, any any name, I'm just going to create a rule like uh, any anything like uh, mail forward I'm going to proceed with mail forwarding this is the name of our rule that I'm planning to do that and n number of options are available like as you can select the sender recipient subject body any attachment or uh, any recipient that you want to apply so let me identify the sender in the sender panel this is uh, in, in, is this personal person is the external or internal is a member of uh, this group you can decide it as per your requirement so I'm going to choose according to the domain that we have so let me select the domain for teach me cloud dot net okay add the domain so I'm going to apply the mail forwarding service for the entire domain so I wanted to create a rule for the teachmecloud.net that we have already mentioned in our, that we have already added the same domain in our 365 panel. Do following means what exactly you want to do. So in case I wanted to select forward the message for approval means if anyone try to send you email, right? If anyone try to send you send uh, email to any employer or any recipient of your organization, so entire mail which is coming from the domain teachmecloud.net automatically redirect for the approval. So forward the message for approval to these people or to the senders, 
uh, senders manager so i'm going to proceed for the few employees few mail ids just wanted to confirm like gcp i don't want to proceed with support and uh, telnet which is associated with teach me cloud sorry let me select gcp user and what you want to do the sender if except if the sender is belong to another domain or you can also set up the internal and external so i'm going to proceed with out of organization and save it next this is the panel where we can define the rule yes i wanted to apply it forcefully you can configure this policy for testing purpose so i don't want to make any changes and you can decide the specified time like you can decide the serve period uh, i wanted to activate it for next 24 hour activate rule and deactivate rule so i wanted to make it applicable for only 24 hours next and finish then we successfully created a rule for our GCP user means if any GCP user try to send the email to another people so your mail automatically forwarded to the forwarded for the approval and the root domain uh, you can say that the admin uh, must need to approve this ma the mail and after that you will get the emails in the inbox. So this is the basic information about the rule but we have a number of options. So let me give you one more example, uh, one more practical example, how we can manage the rules in our exchange admin center. Like as custom rule, we can also create our uh, rule with the help of templates. So this time I'm going to give you uh, the step how we can create the disc disclaimer with the help of our exchange admin rule. For this particular task, we just need to click on the add rule. Again, we just need to select apply disclaimer. And in the apply disclaimer, you can type the name of your rule. Test rule. Okay, so you can select any. And apply this rule for uh, sender, recipient, or any attachment. So it's up to you. So I'm going to apply it for the entire messages, right? The number of messages you will receive are sent with the help of this particular mail ID or by using this particular tenant, you will get that same disclaimer. Do following, so apply disclaimer message. Yes, I wanted to configure a message, means just need to click on add enter uh, text. We just need to type the disclaimer that you want to show on every email. This mail find you with good health so anything you can type it's up to you and thanks for contacting me anything you could you can type as a disclaimer i'm just going to save it we successfully create a message for the disclaimer no need to do anything except I don't want to make any changes here. We just need to select for sender, select any name. Click on select one. Yeah, we just need to proceed with wrap and click next enforce because we want to apply the this policy forcefully so that's why i'm going to select the rule the email id and send email to another recipient and check you will find one disclaimer in our mailbox so this is all about the rules of uh, our mail flow we'll connect in next session and discuss more about the another option like remote domain accepted domain and connectors Thank you guys. Take care. Bye-bye. And do subscribe your own Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel. Bye.